Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. Today is Saturday, November 26th. Uh, that was the radio edit, so they just fade out at the end. That was Wait on the Lord. Um, that was James Wilson from his Songs for the Church album, Songs for the Church. So if you enjoyed that, uh, we can look up James Wilson's. There was also Brooke Statton on that as well. Uh, good to start off the day with all of you. I hope you had a very blessed Thanksgiving. And we are now in the season tomorrow, beginning in Advent. Tomorrow is uh, first Sunday of Advent. So we're going to be talking about waiting. We started yesterday uh, talking about waiting, and we're going to continue on with that today. Today's devotion is entitled Waiting in Patience. Waiting in Patience. Um, and our scripture this morning comes from Isaiah 40. Um, I'm going to be reading uh, Isaiah 40, 
beginning in, sorry, no, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, I'm going to begin in verse 30, 30 and 31. Isaiah 40, verse 30 and 31. So uh, let me say good morning to you all. We have a smaller group today, but it's a, it's a long weekend. So good morning, Barbara and Daniel. I'm glad you're here this morning, praying for both of you. And Augusta and Rosetta, I'm glad you're here, holding you in prayer. Good morning, Esther and Sue. Welcome, praying for you today. And good morning, Donna, praying for your mom, praying that all is well up in Massachusetts, holding you in prayer today. Good morning, Michelle and Yolette, I'm glad you're here, praying for you today. And Ingrid and Karen, welcome, holding you in prayer as well. And good morning, Susan, I'm glad you're here, uh, praying for you today. So uh, we're in Isaiah 40, beginning in verse 30. As you turn in your Bibles, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Our building is on the corner of George and Liberty Street in the heart of the city of New Brunswick. Uh, and we as a church uh, family are called to shine the light of Christ, to be a beacon of Christ's light and love out into our community and our world. So if you're just finding us today, I'm glad you're with us. Um, let's take a look at Isaiah 40, beginning in verse 30. You know what? I'm going to start in 28. That's what I was thinking last night. So let's start in 28. Uh, Isaiah 40, beginning in verse 28, says this. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Good morning, Genevieve. It's good to have you here today. So our devotion this morning comes from Henry Nowen's Bread for the Journey, and this is entitled Waiting with Patience. How do we wait for God, he asks. How do we wait for God? We wait with patience. But patience does not mean passivity. Waiting patiently is not like waiting for the bus to come or the rain to stop or the sun to rise. It is an active waiting in which we live the present moment to the full in order to find that there the signs of the one to uh, in order to in order to find there the signs of the one we are waiting for let me see that sentence again it is an active waiting in which we live the present moment to the full in order to find there the signs of the one we are waiting for the word patience comes from the Latin word patior, which means to suffer. Waiting patiently is suffering through the present moment, tasting it to the full, and letting the seeds that are sown in the ground on which we stand grow into strong plants. Waiting patiently always means paying attention to what is happening right before our eyes and seeing there in that moment, the first rays of God's glorious coming. Waiting patiently always means paying attention, 
paying attention. Well, this is really good timing because tomorrow um, we are starting a new series uh, for Advent entitled Angels Among Us. And we're going to be looking at the different angel appearances, beginning with uh, tomorrow, the appearance of the angel to Zechariah in the temple. And we're going to be talking about waiting actively, waiting actively. This Advent, this time of waiting this year, I'm inviting you to actively wait. And so some of the things that we're going to be doing is, is um, letting people know where we see the presence or have encountered the presence of angels in our midst, messengers who have come to us or moments when we've been called to be messengers. And we're going to take pictures of these things and we're going to we're going to tweet, I don't tweet, but we're going to, we're going to let other people know about where we see God's presence. And this is what Henry now is talking about. I know the word suffer is a challenge for all of us. None of us want to suffer through anything, but I think what scripture is telling us is that when we wait patiently, we are in the moment. It is not as if we're just trying to get through it, you know, because that's something we do a lot. If I can just get through this time, then I'll be happy on the other side. But that is not what waiting patiently means. Waiting patiently means that we're fully present. And sometimes those moments are full of joy, you know, uh, uh, our spending time with uh, our grandchildren, or our children, and sometimes those moments are not moments we want to be in. But even in those moments, when we pay attention, when we are present in that, um, then we experience, we, we see glimpses, we understand even God's presence in our places of suffering. I mean, I'm always reminded of childbirth, you know, the the labor pains that we go through in order for new life to come and be present. And we have to be there in the midst of that pain. But there is joy uh, as well. And so this year, this Advent, we are going to be on the lookout for angels in our midst, angels among us. And some of them will come to us speaking words of hope and promise. And some of them will be encounters with people that we've never encountered as we hear their story or come to know them more deeply. And sometimes God will call you, my friends, to be angels messengers to others um, but we're going to be doing this waiting in an active way this is not passive waiting this is active waiting looking uh, in Henry now and waiting patiently always means paying attention so this season this time of Advent how will you encounter angels in your journey? Let us pray. Let us pray. God, we come before you today acknowledging that too often we have missed your presence we have missed the messages that you have so wanted us to hear and experience. We have missed the opportunities to give hospitality to angels in our midst because we are so busy rushing forward past the pain past the waiting, 
past anything uh, that might ask us to look for you. So this year, this Advent, this day, Lord, open us up that we might see you more fully, that we might encounter your messengers, your angels on our journey through the day. Lord, help us to be present, active in our waiting. And when you call on us, when you stir us and nudge us, let us respond that we might offer your messages of hope, your promise to a world in desperate need. Lead us this Advent, O oh Lord, that we might wait actively for your coming once again. We ask all of this in your precious name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So I, I, um, I want to encourage you to join us tomorrow uh, as we begin the season of Advent. Um, there's going to be so many different ways that we can encounter uh, scripture, encounter God's presence. Um, and uh, I just think it's going to be a, a wonderful season of Advent. So I invite you to join us tomorrow at 11 as we begin our, our series. Uh, tomorrow's message is hashtag more hope, more hope. And the whole theme of the series is do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. A message that was given within scripture over and over again. And it's a message our world needs to hear. So uh, praying you'll be with us, whether you're in person or watching us online tomorrow. Uh, and uh, remember, my friends, God loves you. And so do I. Have a very blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow in worship. Bye, friends.